Well, happy Friday morning, everyone. This is uh, Chris Wells from DS Graphics. I'd like to welcome you all to our fifth of six webinars on the 2019 USPS promotional series. We'll be so sad when it's over, but not to worry, we'll have other fun stuff coming up to be sure. Um, before we get going, just a few housekeeping items for those of you where this is your first webinar. You'll notice you have a little control panel. Uh, usually it shows up in the top right portion of your screen. It's got a little orange arrow that allows you to expand or minimize that control panel. Right below the orange arrow, you'll notice your microphone. You'll see it's muted, and that's just to control background noise. If you have a question that can't wait until the end and you want to be heard, You'll see a little hand icon that's uh, two below the microphone. Just click that and I'll see that your hand has gone up and I will unmute you and you can ask your question. Also, if you expand the control panel, point out a few things. One is if you have a question and you don't want to be called on or raise your hand, there's an area you can type the question and I will um, be sure to answer it at the end of the uh, at the end of the session. And also right above that, you'll see a handout document. It says mobile shopping handout. It's a PDF. At some point during the webinar, you can feel free to download that. That will have all the pertinent information that we're sharing today, um, so you can uh, have it uh, permanently. And I'll also, um, I will wait a little bit at the end and allow people the opportunity to download that handout if you didn't have a chance to do it during the webinar. So our motto is start on time, end early, and this will uh, not go the full 20 minutes uh, unless we have a ton of questions, which I doubt we will. So we'll get into it. Um, as I said, this is our fifth of six webinars. If you haven't seen uh, the other four, I highly recommend that you go to our webinar channel. The link to that is going to be in that handout document. Um, and you can also get it off of our, off of our uh, website, uh, particularly the, uh, the second, third, and, and fourth one. Earned value, that promotion is over. It was kind of about how to get a postage credit for using business reply mail. But um, certainly tactile, sensory, and interactive, it really goes into depth on um, different types of ink, different types of paper, different types of three-dimensional uh, folds and things of that nature to really make your, your, your marketing response go up. Even taste, they have edible paper, if you can believe it. Uh, but there was a lot of great response to that if you haven't seen it. Also, emerging and advanced technology. This went through all of the latest um, uh, technologies in print from augmented reality, mixed mode augmented reality, Bluetooth, integration of near field communication, uh, all those types of uh, all those types of really cool things. Even integration with digital assistants like um, Alexa and Google. I don't know if anybody's working from home, I don't want to say the word out loud. Uh, but certainly take a look at that. All these videos are about 15 minutes. Uh, once you get through the junk I'm doing right now, it's even less. And then the last one we did was personalized color trans promo. And this was uh, ideas for how to utilize your statements and invoices to cross sell other products and services. And then also how to utilize the idea of a statement or an invoice to increase your um, your response rate on your on your marketing efforts. And then coming up after this in August is going to be our webinar informed delivery. Those of you who have heard about this, you know it's a, it's an extremely powerful uh, system that the post office has utilized. If you haven't signed up for informed delivery as a as an individual consumer at your residence, I highly suggest you do so. You get an email every morning from the post office with scans of everything that's coming into your mailbox, and we can partner to make that normally black and white scan much more powerful by putting in what we call ride-along images, putting in special offers where people can just click right out of the uh, email. It's about an 80% open rate on those emails, by the way, which is, uh, if you do any email marketing, you know is unheard of, but it comes from the USPS, so you can utilize the power of a, of a neutral uh, third party that people are trust, and you can get your marketing message up through there. So today we're talking about mobile shopping. So I'm gonna go through the uh, key elements of the promotion, the key dates, and then some examples. So the key elements of this, first of all, this is a uh, direct mail that has to be USPS marketing mail, which used to be called standard mail, which used to be called bulk mail, letters and flats, or nonprofit letters and flats. So this is not for first class mailings. This is for um, standard bulk slash marketing mail mailings. What do you have to do? Well, first you have to launch a direct mail campaign that 
basically encourages mobile shopping. So in order to do that, you have to have a way to get the end user to your mobile shopping site. So this could be a scannable code. If you saw our postcard, we just used a QR code. People are pretty familiar with those. You can also use augmented reality. You can register an augmented reality marker. We're gonna talk about these different uh, techniques in a minute. Uh, any image with a digital watermark that also can bring the user to the mobile shopping site. You can use near field communication to bring them there. Anything that can basically get their mobile device to your shopping site. And then you also have to include some directional copy on the piece instructing the user how to scan the above. If they have to download an AR app, you have to put that in there. Uh, thirdly, the site that they're directed to has to be mobile optimized. So it can't be just your normal site running in frames and people are kind of zooming in and out to try to make it work on their phone. It's got to be a mobile shop, mobile shopping site. And it has to be, uh, you have, they have to be able to make a financial purchase. So the postcards that we sent you guys to sign up for this wouldn't qualify for this campaign because you didn't buy anything. If we charged you a buck, then yeah, it would have it would have qualified. But keep in mind, this is not just if you're selling in the retail environment for purchases. This could be for if you're running a capital campaign for your college or university and you're looking for donations, that would qualify. Um, if you're looking to renew people on a membership, that would qualify. If you're looking to sign people up for a, a training session, an educational session, a trade show, any of those things where um, people would pay money for a product or service qualify as mobile shopping. The only thing that doesn't is like a bill pay um, type system. So if somebody already owes you money and you send them something to say, scan here to pay your bill, that doesn't qualify. It's gotta be something, a new purchase. So if you follow all those rules, guess what? You get a 2% discount on your postage um, right away. It's not a credit, it's not a, a, a rebate. Your 2% will come right off the top, pretty cool. So the key dates on this, the registration period has started, June 15th it started, goes all the way through the end of the year. The promotion period doesn't start until August 1st. So what you do if you wanna do this is you send your mail service provider, whether it's DS Graphics or someone else, uh, your creative copy, we will register it with the USPS, get it approved. And then when we actually launch that campaign with our mailer ID, your postage will be 2% less than everybody else's. Uh, also, you can run as many campaigns as you want during this period. So you can do the same campaign five times, you can do 10 different campaigns. As long as they all qualify, uh, that's fine. Even if it goes to the same mobile shopping site, but different creative, no problem. So it's a good opportunity to, to save some money on postage. Examples of how this works. Well, first of all, you can do something real simple like we did, which is a QR code you can see here. I think this is Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. Um, everybody knows how to use these QR codes. You just, most people know how to get their scanner working. Um, you go there, you shop for a, um, a gift card in this case. Augmented reality is a little different. So augmented reality, this is Mariano's Pizza. This is a mark, what we call an augmented reality marker. You can learn a lot more about this in our Emerging and Advanced Technologies webinar. Uh, but basically you hold your phone over, it activates the marker, you get a video of it looks like Mariano himself pulling a nice hot pizza out of his oven and you get an order now button. So bang, you're into the mobile shopping side right there. This is another example of augmented reality using markers. It's a, it's a little more complex. So this is a, uh, a magazine and you can see all the little dots uh, that show up when you hold your phone over the cover of the magazine. Those are all uh, links to the items and accessories that the model has on uh, that you can then go and purchase. So once again, that's utilizing augmented reality to drive people to a mobile shopping site. And finally, you can use near field communication. This is a much newer technique. Uh, so most of you are familiar with um, uh, RFID chips or radio frequency identification chips that you can put into boxes and things like that to track inventory. Uh, what, uh, what near field communication is, is just something similar. However, in some cases we can actually print that low frequency transmitter into the paper itself. And in some cases, you would use a very thin sticker that actually has that low power, low frequency transmitter built in. Again, this is covered in emerging advanced technologies, but what happens is as your mobile device gets close, usually within a half a meter or so of the near field communication marker, which is right here, it will activate on your phone an, a link to an offer or the shopping site or something like that. So near field communication, also another way that you can um, drive people to your mobile shopping site or your mobile purchasing site, I guess we can call it. 
So what's the big deal about mobile commerce or M-commerce, I guess as people are calling it? Look at the growth of this market in the last three years. It's been an 83% increase. This comes from the DMA fact book, which if you don't have, it's worth the money. It's, it's not inexpensive, but it gives you, if you're a marketer, it gives you all kinds of great data on what's happening. Um, but you can see here from 2016 to 2018, almost a doubling of sales taking place on mobile devices. So it is a growing market. The other thing is if you're in the retail business, you don't have a lot of competition. This was actually amazing to me. So this show is showing you the percentage of retailers that have a smartphone app. So this isn't a mobile optimized website. This is an actual app. It's a whopping 24.9% last year. 75% don't have an app. And guess what? It's grown all the way from 23.7% in 2016 to the 24.9 and dropped in the middle. So not a lot of people have these smartphone apps. They're extremely inexpensive to build. Any of you who have built apps before know that, particularly a shopping app, because you usually have all this information already in, a, uh, in some other web-based format, so it's pretty easy to do. So we like less competition. Some of you who have been to the trans-promotional uh, webinar know that we share this statistic a lot, um, that the average consumer is getting between 26 and 30 pieces of direct mail on a weekly basis, yet the average consumer is exposed to over 700 digital direct marketing messages on a weekly basis. So we'd always be one, rather be one of 30 from a competitive standpoint than one of seven to 800. Um, so there's a great opportunity with direct mail. The other big thing about direct mail that helps is the response rates for direct mail have been going up. There's a number of reasons for that. One is we've all become much more suspect of direct marketing via email and particularly social media. So where direct mail started to drop as the uh, electronic communications and electronic messaging started to pick up, we've become much more skeptical now. And look what's happened in the last three years to direct mail response rates. The blue is houseless. So these would be people that you're familiar with, you know them. The orange are prospect lists. So this would be cold, cold call, basically cold customers that are prospects that you're looking to acquire. This is where the biggest change is because there's been a huge lack of trust in electronic mar direct marketing, uh, particularly with companies and people that you don't know. So the best way to reach people that don't know you is to, um, is to utilize direct mail or call center. Those are the two best response mechanisms right now. Call center, as you know, is very expensive. So there's a good trend here for saying that direct mail is becoming a more trusted uh, resource for your direct marketing dollars. And it goes beyond that, it's consumer preference. 99% of consumers get their mail every day. We don't know who the 1% are that don't or where they are, but apparently they're out there. But 99% of us get our mail every day. Also, 77% of consumers sort and read their mail daily. I don't know about you guys, but I have a number of email accounts. I have certainly my work email account, and then I have my personal email account, and then I have the email account I use when I sign up for stuff. And that's the one I don't necessarily look at every single day. I certainly don't sort through it and delete things and read through the, the emails on a daily basis. In fact, some of you sign up with emails that are different than the ones that we have on record for your work email for these webinars because you don't want crap from GoToWebinar and everything else, and I don't blame you. So that's a very legitimate trend. However, with physical mail, Almost 80% of people do sort and read that every day. So in terms of getting your message into the hands of the person, getting them to read it, much higher percentage. This was also another great stat in this DMA fact book. 84% of consumers prefer to shop online with a catalog in their hand. So people still like to make the online purchase. It's very easy. It's convenient. They can do some research and things like that. But there's still the, uh, the, the positive uh, tangible element of the catalog. So that's still, that still hasn't changed and that's across all, all demographics. So you have a lot of things working for you if you are in the business of either retail, selling a product or service, in fundraising, you know, getting donations, getting contributions, uh, in services, selling, selling tickets, selling um, seats to events, selling training sessions, any of those things, you have an advantage to combine the power of digital with uh, hard copy print to get a really good response rate. We also had an ulterior motive for this campaign. So we know that we had a lot of people sign up for this. And although I'd like to think it's because of the awesome performance I'm giving today and the topic, I know a lot of people 
would sign up because they get a cool gift. That's okay. That's what we intended to have happen. And I wanted to show you the power of promotional offers and how they can impact your marketing efforts. So if you look here on the left, this is just for this program that you're involved in right now with TS Graphics. These are the last couple of webinars where we've, we, where, that we've done, the Tactile Century Interactive, Emerging Advanced Technology and Trans Promo. This one we did an augmented reality mailer. This one we did a like Valentine's Day thing. It smelled like chocolates, it smelled like roses. So none of these were like boring direct mail pieces. Um, what I track is a number of things, but one is initial response rates, which is the first 24 to 48 hours I get on a hit whether it's an email or a direct mail. I know when it's in the mailbox. I know when the consumer's gonna get it um, because of some of the tracking we do with the USPS. Look at what happened with this mobile shopping on the initial response rates. It's more than double our highest, 5.2% initial response rate. And this is customers and non-customers responded to this mailing. That's cool, but what's even cooler is the click to conversion rate. So this is the tracking the percentage of people who clicked on the link to register and then actually registered and showed up. It's running between 27 and 36%. 85% of the people who clicked on this link registered for the webinar. Part of that is because they're getting a Yeti, they're getting a cooler, they're getting earbuds, or they're getting a wireless Bluetooth speaker, all of which are very cool. But you know what? Those things cost way less than average cost per lead on search engine optimization, social media, whatever it happens to be. So if you wanna get a great response on your marketing piece, spend the money and use a promotional offer. Don't send it to them, do it like we did it. Sign up and then we'll send it to you. It works. So that's kind of our, 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 our ulterior motive in terms of this campaign. So that is what mobile shopping is all about. Again, download that PDF so you will be able to um, know all the rules and if you wanna participate in it, and certainly think about utilizing promotional products and services on your direct mail campaigns because it will help the response rate significantly. I do not see any questions and I don't think I see any hands up. I do not see any hands up. So I am going to pause the presentation. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes if you want to download the handout. Thanks for attending. Have a wonderful summer and we will hopefully see you all in August for our informed delivery webinar. Thanks.